What if I told you that the future of humanity lies at a crossroads? That the decisions we make now in the age of AI and biotechnology would forever alter what it means to be human? Welcome to the nexus where human evolution meets the AI revolution. Today I'm diving into Yuval Noah Harari's latest book Nexus, a thought-provoking exploration of our rapidly evolving world. Together we're going to unpack 10 key takeaways that will blow your mind and challenge how you see the future. Stick around because these insights are going to hit hard and make you question everything. 1. The Nexus of Human and AI Evolution Let's kick it off with a wild concept. Harari argues that we're heading into an era where the lines between human intelligence and artificial intelligence are actually blurring. We're not just talking about smarter machines. We're talking about humans upgrading their own biology with AI. Imagine your brain being plugged into the cloud, sharing intelligence with machines. You'd be able to access limitless knowledge, enhance your mental speed, and maybe even learn new skills in the blink of an eye. Sounds cool, right? But here's the catch. If we become part machine, what happens to our identity? Do we remain human or do we become something else? This convergence of biology and technology could unlock mind-blowing abilities, but it might also mess with what makes us who we are. Think about it. Neural implants could give us supercharged memory and lightning-fast learning. But if everyone's suddenly a super genius, what happens to the uniqueness of human cognition? Do we all just merge into one big hive mind, or can we still hold on to our individuality? 2. The death of free will OK, brace yourself for this one. Harari hits us with a tough pill to swallow. Are we losing our free will? Think about it. As AI algorithms learn more about us, our behaviours, our preferences, even our deepest desires, they might start making decisions for us before we even know what we want. Yeah, it's that deep. Imagine this. You go online to buy something, but the recommendations you see were designed by an algorithm to nudge you toward a certain choice. Did you really want that item? Or did an algorithm guide your decision? Scary, right? And if AI keeps improving, this subtle manipulation could creep into other areas of life. Politics, relationships, even your career path. Are we in control or are we just becoming passive players in a game run by algorithms? So the question we should be asking is, as AI keeps evolving, are we outsourcing our freedom to machines without even realising it? 3. Data as the new religion Here's a mind-bender for you. Harari suggests that data might replace traditional religion. In this new world, whoever controls the most data controls, well, pretty much everything. Forget kings and queens, forget powerful governments. In this future, tech companies and data giants could run the show. They'll know more about us than we know about ourselves. But here's the catch. Information does not equal truth. Most of the information we encounter today, especially online and on social media, is essentially junk. Truth, by contrast, is rare and expensive. But here's the kicker. The primary role of today's information isn't to uncover the truth. Instead, it serves to connect and organise large groups of people into networks, often through fiction, fantasies and, all too frequently, mass delusions. So, what happens when the sheer volume of data becomes too much to process? With the power of data comes the realisation that finding meaning is the real challenge. How do we sift through endless streams of data to uncover the truth that shapes our lives? Imagine living in a world where your personal data is more valuable than gold. Picture this. Governments, tech giants and even hackers competing for control over the most data. The more they know the more they can control you. Every click, every like, every search being tracked and used to shape your future. Sounds dystopian, right? But it's happening already. We're slowly handing over control of our lives to the companies that collect and analyse our data. In the future, this could lead to a new kind of global power structure, where data decides who wins and who loses. 4. The rise of digital dictatorships. And now for the really scary part. Harari warns of the rise of digital dictatorships. This isn't just some futuristic fantasy, it's a potential reality. Governments or corporations could use AI to monitor, control and manipulate populations like never before. We're talking about real-time surveillance, predictive policing and controlling the flow of information, all in the name of security and efficiency. Think about the facial recognition software already being used in cities around the world. 
Sure, it can enhance security, but what happens when it's used to track every move you make? In the hands of authoritarian regimes, this tech could become the ultimate tool for control, keeping dissenters in line and silencing those who dare to question authority. The very tools designed to make our lives better could be used against us. Now imagine a world where digital dictatorships reign supreme. Do we sacrifice freedom for the illusion of safety? Or can we find a way to balance technology and liberty? 5. Biotechnology. The next frontier of inequality. Alright, this next one is going to hit hard. Harari argues that biotechnology could become the new frontier of inequality. Forget about the rich just having more money. In the future, they might have better genes, longer lives, and superior brains. Exactly, we're talking about a biological divide, where the wealthy can enhance themselves with genetic engineering and biotech upgrades, while the rest of us, well, we're left in the dust. Imagine a world where the rich can buy better health, increased intelligence, and superhuman abilities. This could create a new caste system, one based on biological superiority. The enhanced and the natural, the upgraded and the left behind. And guess who gets to be in the upgraded club? Only those with deep pockets. It's a terrifying thought, but not entirely out of the realm of possibility. As biotechnology advances, these ethical and social questions become more pressing. Will we allow this new form of inequality to shape the future? Or can we find a way to ensure that biotech benefits everyone, not just the elite? 6. The Global Brain and Collective Intelligence Now let's switch gears for a minute and talk about the global brain. Harari introduces the idea of interconnected human and machine minds creating a collective intelligence. Imagine billions of people linked together with AI, pooling their knowledge and brain power to solve humanity's biggest problems. Sounds like science fiction? Maybe. But it's also a fascinating glimpse into what the future could hold. This global brain could tackle everything from climate change to disease outbreaks. But here's the catch. The more we know, the less we seem to understand. As our interconnected minds and machines amass vast amounts of data, deciphering meaningful insights from this sea of information becomes increasingly challenging. What happens, then, to individual creativity and freedom? Will we lose our ability to think for ourselves as we become part of this collective consciousness? Sure, the global brain might solve problems faster than any individual ever could, but at what cost? Ethical Dilemmas in the Age of AI As AI continues to advance, we're going to face some tough ethical questions. Who's accountable when an AI makes a mistake? Should AI systems have rights? What are the moral implications of creating super-intelligent beings that could surpass human intelligence? These aren't just hypothetical questions. They're real dilemmas that we need to address now, before AI becomes fully integrated into society. It's not just about technological advancement. It's about making sure that we use this power responsibly. Facts alone don't drive action. Stories do. In these ethical debates, narratives are the bridges between facts and emotions. AI might process data and predict outcomes, but it's the human narratives that help us understand the emotional and ethical weight of those decisions. 8. The future of work. AI replacing humans. Let's talk about work, because AI is coming for your job. Well, maybe not your job specifically, but Harari predicts that AI and robots will replace human labour in many industries. This could lead to mass unemployment, or it could free humans up to focus on more creative and empathetic tasks. But here's the big question. What happens when machines can do everything better than us? What will be the purpose of human life when AI takes over routine tasks? Will we lose our sense of purpose, or will we find new ways to contribute to society? Imagine a future where AI diagnoses diseases better than doctors, writes legal briefs faster than lawyers, and even creates art that rivals human creativity. Sounds great, until you realise that millions of people could be out of work. What do we do then? How do we redefine work and meaning in a world dominated by AI? 9. Global Cooperation or Tech Wars In this hyper-connected world, Harari warns of the potential for tech wars. We're not talking about old-school warfare here, we're talking about conflicts between nations, or even corporations, over control of advanced technologies. The race for AI dominance could lead to heightened tensions, and wars fought not with traditional weapons, but with algorithms and cyber capabilities. Imagine a world where nations engage in cyber warfare, using AI to disrupt infrastructure, 
manipulate public opinion, or even take down entire economies. These tech wars could destabilise the global order and lead to widespread suffering. The big question is, can humanity come together to cooperate on a global scale? Or will we be torn apart by competition for technological dominance? The human spirit in the age of AI. Despite all these challenges, Harari leaves us with a glimmer of hope. He reminds us that what makes us human, our creativity, compassion and ability to form meaningful connections, cannot be easily replicated by machines. In this age of nexus, it's more important than ever to hold on to our humanity. Truth is subjective, but the impact of stories is universal. While AI may analyse data and generate facts, the emotional power of storytelling remains uniquely human. We find meaning in the stories, not the data. Think about it. AI can create art, but it can't feel the emotion behind it. AI can solve problems, but it can't truly understand the human experience. While AI can augment our abilities, the essence of the human spirit remains irreplaceable. So as we move forward into this brave new world, we need to ask ourselves, how do we maintain our humanity in the face of technological advancement? How do we ensure that the future is shaped by our values, not just by the machines we create? So, as we explore the themes of Nexus, one thing becomes clear. The future isn't something that just happens to us. It's something we create. The AI revolution is more than just a technological shift. It's a societal transformation that requires careful thought, ethical consideration, and most importantly, action. Thanks for tuning in. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more deep dives into the world of the mind. I'll see you in the next one.